Hey Brazers, how are you guys? So Foodie is live right now. It is titled, I Ripped My Pants. I'm gonna check it out. I figure let's watch together. Did we get a Nashi? Where did we go? So what's happening, Foodie? It looks beautiful out. All right, let's go to real time. You really want me to hear that song, eh? Brian? Say aluminum. Aluminum. So are they talking about the Gary Unfiltered thing? Golden Girl said, from what I watched, he was hammered and didn't make a lot of sense. Stabrina said, also, Nader was sticking up for Dee Dee at one point because that reactor said something about her. He never stands up for you at Foodie Beauty. Alyssa said, when y'all get back on good terms, tell him unblock me and worm. So. English is not his first language, though, so. What does that have to do with him being drunk and mm -hmm. hammered? He was hammered, but. What, but what does his English have to do I with I know, that? he stands up for Dee Dee. Never for me. Right. And he's like, it's because you talk, Dee Dee doesn't talk shit about me. No, she licks your asshole. Oh. I, I won't do that. How does, how does this butthole taste, Dee Dee? Oh, gosh. I'm sure like mint and fucking coriander, right? Oh, gosh. Foodie, this is what you want your content to be. In a bathing suit, eating food in the car. Thing, vile things. <sighs> Boba Coffee said he should stand up for you. You know what he tried to say? What? Because I flipped out on him about that phone call from its water weight when he's like, I like it the most. I was like, you fucking liar, blah, blah, blah. So further down the line, after he has time to think about an answer, he tells me his excuse is, that was Dee Dee. Thank you for the confirmation because you flipped Whoa. you flipped out on me when I said that it was Dee Dee. You flipped out on me. Mm -hmm. This is my problem. You make me feel like my feelings are not valid. So I have no choice but to come on here and scream at you. Oh jeez. When I knew said, all along. Summer B said that is called gaslighting, ma'am. Oh, it was Dee Dee, but she was just i didn't even know it was her mm -hmm. she was just saying that like oh like you're handsome you know like uh, to try and bring drama or whatever mm -hmm. no you cannot backtrack this you can hear how desperate and horny she is in her voice in that phone call oh my gosh you can hear it you can clearly hear her mm -hmm. in the tone and this is not talking about you Dee. Dee. You actually, I have a right to, this is a reaction. Okay. I have a right to react to things that you put online. You called online. So I have a right to react to this. Okay. We're at another drive through She just ate something. I'm not messaging you. I'm not texting your phone. I'm not harassing you. I'm talking about something that happened online. So. Mm -hmm. Sure. She's really pixelated <coughs> right now. Boba Coffee said Dee Dee put herself on the internet. Exactly. Um, Sabrina said, I love a good rage in the morning. More, please. Jeez. Tessa said, LMAO, did the worker just hear all that? Probably. Happy B Day said, who rolls around town in a bathing suit top? That's not a shirt. Foodie does. That's who. The hand motions and clapping. Oh, well, you got a new VIB. Tessa said, and you're sitting there in a bikini top. Ha, ha, ha. Trina Scott said, probably the only thing clean. Maybe. All right, let's go to real time. Here we are. Oh, welcome to very important features. KS, ready, set, peace. I used to have a friend, KS. Christina. Is your name Christina? They want me. <laughs> I know. 
Ooh la 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 la, the Starbucks. <laughs> oh gosh. Don't say ooh la la la. God forbid people are just nice. <laughs> Brooke said, I like your bathing suit top. So, what is, is this what today is going to be? You're mad at him today, so we all have to hear about it all day. And then tomorrow, you guys will be on good terms again. And then you'll say, I don't want any disrespect in my chat. You guys must respect us. Blah, blah, blah. I'm in love. Like, I already know how this is going to go. You got to stop that. Cut it out. Why? Stop trolling. You stop trolling. This is one big troll. This whole thing. Brooke told her you should do laundry. She should, but she won't. Hey. I kind of want to date that other Egyptian man at the fish restaurant we went to. He's kind of old and looks like Bob Hoskins, but he can cook. Booty, you, Let's go booty. there today. Booty, you don't need to date anybody right now. Like, this whole thing is so toxic. It's not fair or right for you to bring somebody into this situation at all. Look, they're like this. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. <laughs> my pants, my whole ass is showing. I need to get somewhere private and change. <sighs> Kit Kat asked, why are you dressed like a tourist? Oh my gosh. Sabrina said, uh, turn to the side and show your profile. Front, front view is an optical illusion. Gasly said, you ate 8,000 calories yesterday. Uh, let's see. Great wolf lunch. <laughs> G-Boy, hi! No Nashies, hello, Kermit. Did I lose weight? I know. Are you worried about me? People are saying they're worried about my weight loss. Who's saying that? Oh, jeez. Okay, well, thanks for you that. You can see it in my face. Thank, Thank God it's so pixelated. We couldn't really see. Real big place. So she has fast food on the passenger seat. We're in another drive through Okay. Jamie said, you were fine last night until the thumbnail. Is this, is all this just because of a thumbnail? Great question. Let's go to real time so we can get an answer. Chantal's weight is all in the side view. <laughs> it's true. I turned to the side and I'm freaking huge. Jammy. You were fine last night until the thumbnail. Is all this just because of a thumbnail? Is Wait, it? Wait, I remember Jammy. Nikki Cooper. Who's that? I went it as Jamie. Shout out is to it your Jamie? friend Nikki. The moldy pot's still out there. <laughs> the Wi Fi's bad? Yeah. Sorry. Wait. Savage Keyboard said, Are you really out in the wild dressed like that, Chantel? Yes, she really is. There we go. In all her glory. Yeah, I'm dressed like this, yeah. You don't think it looks good? I think it looks good. Um, I just need a different pants because these ones are... These were some of my favorite pants. Are these Palazzo pants? Sabrina said... Oh my gosh. Thumbnail woohoo. Thumbnail woohoo. All right, Sabrina said, That was a sweet pick of Nader and Dee Dee. I bet they'll print it out and frame it. Savage Keyboard said, Hot Girl Summer. Uh, Worm Sheriff said, And she ripped her pants. All right. Beautiful. Okay, booty. I need to go home and watch Nikocado Avocado Shorts. That's all I want to do with my life for the rest of the day. Okay. Good to know. Have fun. We need more emojis. <laughs> that was a sweet pick of Dee Dee and Natter. I know. They're going to be together forever now. So they can stay together. Hi. Mm -hmm. On oh, Debbie? You want a receipt? No, that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. And do you want to try it? No, no, that's okay. This doesn't have top, sorry. Okay, okay let's right. go a few <laughs> seconds ahead to Friday, real time. Yesterday, it's so good. <laughs> oh, it's so pixelated, you guys. Oh, that's creepy. That's the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Can you guys see it? 
Okay, the baristas at Starbucks are always so cool. Oh my I gosh, I want to work baby. here. I want to be part of a family. That's why I love you guys. Like, hanging out with you guys. Okay, let's go find somewhere remote to drive and... Yeah, somewhere Lime I Jello can change said, my pants. Lime Jello said Wi-Fi is really bad now. Yeah, we'll stay another minute or so. It's pretty bad. And it won't be in Ottawa because... So I'm going to have to drive. Okay, so there's... Um, I want to play mini pot later tonight with Pete's. Mm -hmm. So there's a mini pot place not far from my house that's open till 11. There's a golf place and it has mini pot, 18 holes. How fun. So I think we should go mini pot tonight. What do you think? I think we should. What a nice change. So for those of you who are curious, Sam is not going to endure torture. I'm not torturing my cats. <gasps> so... <laughs> What I'm gonna do is sign them up, 65 bucks a month. Foodie, you, he better be seen by somebody. We'll get the mobile vets <clears throat> to come in. My house will be cleaned by the 7th because they're coming in to inspect. So he has to wait until the 7th to be seen by a mobile vet. You don't see the problem with this situation. A, your cat should be your number one priority because you don't care about yourself. So at least care about your cat. For two, what's the problem with going to the vet today and then having a mobile vet follow up? There is no reason why you can't go to the vet other than you don't care about anything other than your Nashies, yourself, and Nader. They're going to be cleaning up the AC unit. Um... I'm not sure. I kind of want to move out of here because just I don't. I'm not comfortable with people knowing where we live. The rent is very high. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to move somewhere with Pete's a bit cheaper. So what I was doing, I may as well look. I'm going to be driving for like an hour, so I may as well be. Where I move? I'm just going to drive. Oh, that's where she I'm going to go to the middle of nowhere so I can find somewhere to put pants on. I, so here's the thing. I've been dying to share with you guys exactly how I've been feeling and what I've been going through with the Montreal trips and everything. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot you guys don't know about and stuff. So I was dying to, to do that. Okay. And I wasn't saying anything. Okay, I'm going to be driving so I can't see new members or super chat. So I'm just going to collectively thank you now in advance. Okay. I don't, I'm, you do not know the biggest, okay. What is making me literally, I'm not going to say this in a derogatory way towards people with mental illness and stuff like that. I'm not making a joke of this, but I really feel my mental health has taken such a huge downfall. And I think you can all see that. Yeah. But the majority of the thing is that I'm not being honest with myself. I'm not, I'm doing things that are not good for myself and it's like destroying my soul. And right. I know it. I'm doing things that are not good for me. I'm basically giving so much of myself, doing things that make me uncomfortable. In yeah, order foodie, to lying and scamming people every single day will definitely make you uncomfortable and definitely not feed your soul. Like, you play a part in your own unhappiness. I don't know if you realize this. Like, you play a huge part in it. Make him happy. You know? Elle's comment. We need to start getting paid since we're her therapist, apparently. Wasn't she just mad and blocking everybody and now she needs us all for therapy? So, that's why I would get tired and, like, stressed out after, like, just a couple days because it, it's very emotional it's very draining being around like him a lot it's mm -hmm. very draining he's very demanding and yet you drive back there every single day please don't sit here and whine about how draining it is when you drive to the drain like and it's just yeah like every single thing like it's just draining being around him so i need like so I don't know why I would think that living with him would be a good idea. It's not. But we were supposed to... I, what he's telling me, he probably won't admit that to you online, but mm -hmm. he's supposed to... 
And like I said, I have all my messages, so he can lie all he wants, but I have all the messages, like, between us. So, anyway. So you were supposed to move out together? I was supposed to get an apartment for us. Like, we were supposed to live together. Mm Mm-hmm. That was the that was the idea. We know. For me, what I was gonna do is, and for me, the biggest thing is not being able to make up my mind, like back and forth, back and forth. We like know. One minute I love him, one minute I want to be with him. We know. We know. Believe me, we know. And I'll do anything for him and make it work. And then the next minute, because we've been through so much shit together, like. All of this shit has to make sense, has to mean something. He even said that, like, you know, all of this shit, and then we're just going to drop it. But yes, because if we keep this, the same logic as trying to repair a broken car over and over instead of just getting a new one, it's like, at some point, we're just going to destroy each other to the point of there being nothing left. Exactly. We're killing each other. And I don't know about you, but I kind of like living. So no. And I like living peacefully. Do you? Honestly, Please, like don't I don't say honestly right after. Not one part of your life is peaceful. Not one part. Your life is constant chaos right now. Constant chaos. And the crazy thing is, every other day you're going back to him. You're going back to him. So it's great you're having, you know, these moments of so called clarity. But foodie, we all know in a couple hours if he says he needs something, you'll be back to raging to us and back to dropping everything for him your cat needs to go to the vet and we're still yapping about him why just Ooh, summer bees that the chaos is all you have and i just can't do it like i just cannot keep giving of myself and just getting nothing in return for it i literally get nothing i get nothing but more stress and keep waiting i just keep waiting for validation from this man for some kind of like sign that he loves me like i'll literally be like okay i love you after doing so much for him and just because i didn't properly apologize to him instead of giving me a love you back he'll give me a thumbs up like he'll like emotionally play with me out of like a a weird fucking sense of like some kind of weird punishment is what it feels like like are you punishing me like why why are you punishing me Booty, you guys both play games. He might do that, but you go online and rage about him every other day. You guys both play games. Like, what is your part in this? What is your part in this whole thing? You like the chaos, I believe. I think you don't know how to live without your day being full of stress and chaos. I don't think you know how. I don't get it. Why don't you treat Dee Dee this way? Like, what did I, like, I talk about you online? Well, why don't you not act like that? And then maybe I would, like, I was in a relationship with Seth for seven years with BB. I never, ever had to talk shit about him. I never talked shit about him because he never made me, like, feel, he never mistreated me. So I didn't have to, you know? Oh, I like this comment right here by Summer Bees. You don't have the mental capacity to grow up and you have no desire or integrity to make positive changes. So you will always keep the toxicity in your life. So you have something to blame it all on. True. Uh, let's see. All right. I'll watch a couple more. And I know it's frustrating for you guys because you've been screaming stuff at me. But like I said, I have to live through it myself. Like I can't listen to everyone's different opinions. Like I just Booty, have to- then live with it by yourself and stop dragging your viewers into it. Live through my own experiences and learn from my own mistakes I guess I don't know but if I didn't have online and I didn't have you guys I would probably be in a lot more shit than than I am now like I would probably stop using us as your therapist (laughs) that's not right to do to people either like you have to people online cannot fix your life or solve your problems you have to go talk to a professional see things the same way so it does help in a way i hate to admit (laughs) but it's i know it's very serious subject matter that i talk about Mm -hmm. it seems like in a casual way and i think it like upsets people yep all right foodie i will check back in with you later You guys, if this becomes too much, please take today off. Go do something nice for yourself. 
um, listen to music. I know that always helps me. That just lifts my whole vibe. But it could become a lot. So if you need to take a break, please do so. And remember, like, I'll be here when you come back, okay? Have a great day, a great evening, wherever you are. And I will see you so soon. Bye.